Rumen is the engine of a cow. How do you, as a farmer, fine tune the same? How do you make sure the potential wrapped up in the genetics is unlocked once it is delivered on your farm? Can you even talk about being a breeder per se when you only deliver genetics, but you don't match that, those genetics with production? How do you ever get to know that you are on course and that the factory that you are bringing up is a giant producer in the making? There are certain parameters that will indicate. At what time did you win your calf? What was the weight of winning? How did you get there? Within how fast? Because those will be the things that will really indicate the efficacy of what you have actually implemented as you bring up. Unfortunately, farmers are very skeptical about knowledge. They always think that there is always something behind the information that is being passed on. But I think if we interrogate knowledge and really try to understand the depth of it, knowledge is power. And when we employ it to work for us, the same uh, things will never remain the same on our farms. The rumen, to a large extent, helps unlock the potential purchased by farmers through semen. You cannot talk about efficient dairy and be feeding without mentioning the rumen. The raw material for production are feeds, they are concentrates, they are supplements, and to realize efficient feed utilization, to realize the, the actual potential in what you purchase, always start by developing an efficient rumen as we have said. That starts with the realization that the cows naturally develop the rumen. Naturally, cows will develop the rumen. And farmers will think that the moment the, the genetics have been passed on their farms, they are guaranteed that the cow will naturally develop a rumen that will be effective in their farms. That may not be the actual thing because they need deliberate manipulation to develop highly efficient rumens that optimizes their genetic potential. How do you get to deliberately manipulate the growth of your rumen so that you achieve the potential in the genetics that you brought on your farm? Most farmers do not take the initiative to deliberately facilitate proper rumen development. And the end result is that throughout the lives of the animals that they have brought on their farms, the animals will always underperform. Not because the genetic they brought from Netherlands or America through IBS or from, from Kagri in Nairobi or wherever were wrong, but it's because when they landed on their farms, they were not matched with the right management. Just like you can have a good business, but because of poor management, you run into losses. They leave it to happen naturally. As in, I have opened the shops, people should come and buy. Or I have put my matato on the road. Everybody should enjoy riding in it. But that is not how businesses are run. You should not leave it to chance. We should be deliberate about making sure we are optimizing. You get a good calf, but because you have not developed it to a good producer, you have an animal that would always frustrate you whenever you look at it on your own farms.